Sometimes we overcomplicate beating man coverage. If you guys are facing a cover one or a cover zero, sometimes a simple double move is all you need to get your opponent to start to adjust. You guys give them the threat of taking the lid off the defense with one route, you can add lid the rest of your offense around that route. Let's go ahead and get into it. What is up guys, Dan for the Zamba on YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about double move routes. And we're gonna kick this one off with one that you should look for in your playbook. And that is going to be a sluggo route. Now, if you've never heard of what a sluggo route is, it stands for slant and go. And these routes in general, I'm gonna just kind of spoil it for you guys. Double moves in general are really, really good against man coverage in Madden 23. Now there are abilities in the game that actually make double moves better. You can slap them on your quarterback, such as sleight of hand. I personally have not tested that this year, but I have heard some rumblings in the uh, community that it might be a pretty solid ability. So you guys can kind of uh, confirm or deny that in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think on that topic. But let's go ahead and get to work with the slugger route. What I think is really, really cool about this is that um, you can actually fry um, absolutely fry man coverage. Now, last week there was a patch that came out that basically made it so playing press, if you gave up a vertical win, would allow your wide receiver to be just really open. Um, and you were noticing separation uh, being improved in general on a lot of routes last week after that title update. What a lot of players will do though, is they will from time to time play man to man and they might shade underneath. I'm here to tell you right now that if they do that to you, you can fry them almost 100% of the time with a double move route, such as a slant and go. So you're gonna see here, if you look at the uh, left side, how that guy just flies down and then gets roasted. Honestly, if somebody's doing that from a press alignment and they're shading underneath, you might even make, you might even be able to just run right by them in general. And it, that really probably doesn't have a whole heck of a lot to do with the double move. So you kind of see how that, how that looks how you can just do that. So if you ever catch anybody doing that to you, shading underneath, you notice they're playing in your whip routes really well, just run a streak, run a streak. Um, you, you really, really fry them on this. However, double moves are really, really good when you start to get people that like to shade inside, outside, or not at all. So um, it, let's go ahead and kind of play like a, uh, a shade here. Let's play inside shade. Um, and what you'll notice with this is that because this is a double move that goes inside first, you are gonna have an opportunity to fry them over the top. So if you ever see an inside leverage with this particular route, um, you can go ahead and let it rip. It's gonna beat the inside shade fairly uh, consistently. Um, so again here, um, I'm going to shade my coverage inside pre-snap, which is basically saying, hey, try to play a pre-snap leverage. Uh, and it's gonna you know, get absolutely fooled by the double move. I know right there we took a pressure, but uh, again, you're seeing very, very easily how this um, is something that you can utilize very, very well against uh, this meta. So a lot of players out there still playing cover one, cover zero. Uh, they're gonna ride it till it dies. And you know we're trying to show you guys ways every day to make sure that this is not something that can really stay on your field uh, too consistently, too consistently. Uh, in this situation, we're gonna go ahead and show you an outside shade. So uh, right here, outside shade, uh, and we'll go ahead and contain the rush a little bit. Double move against the outside shade. Um, you see right here that it can you know get over the top of that as well. I kind of left that trajectory a little bit low. So if your opponent's doing any inside or outside shading whatsoever, you can use this double move to absolutely smoke them. So pay attention. If you're seeing guys kind of doing this pre-snap over your wide receiver, dial up a double move. Which brings me to my next point. A sluggo is a playbook specific route. You can't hot route these. However, you do have another double move in your arsenal if you have a slot apprentice. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get Russell Gage Jr. off the field. Um, I'm gonna put whoever on the field because Tom Brady uh, is actually the hot route master. So slot apprentice, hot route master, doesn't really matter here in this regard. Um, and you're gonna be able to work that in the slot. Um, and I love, I love these double move routes. Um, players don't use them enough. They really, truly don't. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put Julio Jones on um, a stop and go. And if I kind of fix my play art here, you see that this route is a little bit, um, it, it's also called a chair route, kind of looks like a chair. You got the, uh, the leg and then the seat and then the back of the chair, right? Um, but this stop and go route can be very, very effective as well if your opponent is doing, uh, you know, some shading. You know, shade inside, for instance. Uh, let's hope that we pick up our pressure here. But um, 
you're going to see that this route absolutely gets open over the top. Now, we underthrew that because Tom Brady doesn't have insane arm strength in this game. But um, if you guys are free forming, obviously that can be a little bit more advantageous for you. So you might free form that ball up a little bit higher. Um, and you know that might give you an opportunity. Now again, this is gonna be best when you are um, facing someone who does shade, which most players tend to when they're playing man to man. So if you get somebody who's shading inside, you're gonna see that those DBs are gonna kind of shift in their alignment. Um, that should kind of be an alert that a double move could be a very, very easy uh, thing for you. Uh, again, you see right there, Julio, every single time we've shaded in this video, inside or outside, the double move ends up winning. So um, this is a really, really good tip for you guys to make sure that you guys are, um, you know, kind of looking into, um, you know, how to beat man coverage. You guys probably noticed a lot of uh, C routes in the MCS tournament. Well, those are double moves also. It's a quick cut over the middle, up the seam, and then to the outside. So um, double moves in general this year do great work against man to man. So rather than than running these single cut routes, you know, a little up, in, out, or an up, out, up, you know, those are gonna be good routes that can create some separation for you. Um, so I hope that you guys like today's video. Simple, sweet, keep it simple and sweet. Uh, if you guys wanna know what playbook I was in, running gun. We just did a video the other day out of a different play out of this very formation, the single back wide trips. So um, I'm actually starting to do a lot of content on the wide trips here on the YouTube channel. This was gonna be a game plan on the website, but I wanna make sure I give you guys uh, some, some content to build on here on the YouTube channel as well on the offensive side of the ball. I know how tough it could be. So again, guys, uh, if you guys like this video, head over to my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Got so much content over there this week. We'll be dropping the John Beast offense on the website. I know I've been talking about it in the last couple uploads. Uh, really excited to get that out to you guys. High level MCS belt winner, uh, his offense on the website. It's only gonna help you guys keep winning more games in Madden 23. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.